Hey guys, me your host Super Subtle. Thank you very much for tuning in. We have the Elite Series Jin Erso here, ready for review. Now the Elite Series are Disney Store exclusives, so before we go any further, let's read what it says on the box. So you guys have already seen my Black Series review of her, I'm going to compare the Elite Series to the Black Series as well in this video, and we'll see which is our overall favourite. So, Star Wars Elite Series, Sergeant Jin Erso. In collaboration with Lucasfilm, Disney Store is proud to introduce the Star Wars Elite series, a premium line of toys featuring iconic characters from the expansive world of Star Wars. The exclusive collection is meticulously engineered and crafted with Star Wars fans in mind. A highly skilled soldier in the Rebel Alliance, Jin Erso is an impetuous, defiant warrior eager to bring the battle to the Empire. Jin has little patience for debate within the Alliance High Command, enough so that she takes matters into her own hands. Now these figures are die cast metal and they run at $19.99, as I said exclusive to Disney Store. And the Elite version comes with a few more guns, um, and like a nightstick I think that's meant to be. But we'll see when we open it up, so let's do this. Mr Scissors, if you will, to snip the snippity tape. Snippity dip! Come on, get us, Dad. Come on, Jin Erso, let's go play. So as well, I said on the last video, and uh, just to say again, you can tell which ones are the new Rogue One Elite Series because they have the blue trim around the side and the blue bar on the back saying Elite Series, and the back of the packaging is also blue. The old Elite series have a red background packaging. Just a little tidbit for you in case you were, uh, you know, you're not so familiar with them, or you're looking to buy them for your kids or whatever. Or I'm pointing out just in case you never noticed. And they also on the on the Elite series have these god awful rope ties, and the metal rope ties. <coughs> So she is die-cast metal, as you can see, and they've not done a very good job at hiding the bolts on this one. The bolts are very obvious at the back, so if you were, you could only display this from the front, which is a bummer. Let's put that god-awful plastic stuff around her hand. Let me get rid of that. Yeah, that's a lot better. Right. Um, so she's in the same outfit as the Black Series one, it's the uh, Jeddah edition. Now this version um, is a little bit more detailed, obviously it's the Elite Series. This uh, part here is a separate, you know, to the body itself, whereas on the Elite Series, uh, sorry, on the Black Series it is also separate, but um, it doesn't come off the body, whereas this one probably would. Um, it, it's an independent piece on the figure. Her hair is a lot more detailed, there's some more um, sort of like stylizations in it to make it look more realistic like hair and styled uh, or tied up at least. We have a gun, the gun is a lot more detailed on this fig um, in comparison to the first one. Some nice detailing here and again she does still have the, the uh, working holster. No clip this time to keep that in place so let's try and slot that in. But it does fit snugly into the thing with the, with the, uh, but with the end of the pistol sticking out the bottom. Now let's talk articulation, um, a few less articulated points than the Black Series it seems. We do have a head um, a head ball joint, so a head can move up and down, as far as the hairpiece and the jacket will allow. Her arms lift up with a rotation cuff at the top, and as well with an elbow joint here, and arms can lift out too. Hand has a full rotation and also has a ball hinge. I think, yeah, so you can, it's the same sort of hinge as the last one. Oh no, does she have a hinge at all? Hang on a minute. No. There is only a rotation hinge here. The actual hand does not move, it is static. So this does have a lot less articulation points than the previous model, which is a shame. Um. Not same on both hands, yeah, same with both hands, both are static. Um, okay, so we do have a, um, a twist here at the hips. The legs move out. 
with a rotation hinge. So uh, let me do it this leg so it'll be easier. So if you wanted, you could do full rotation uh, with that. There is a knee joint, as you can see here. No upper leg rotation, no lower leg rotation, and the foot is just a static ball hinge. Doesn't seem to have the crazy ankle pivot that some of these have. Just a, a regular foot hinge. So let's compare it to the uh, Black Series. The Black Series, of course, is smaller in height. Um, quite, well, I've had quite a lot actually, face sculpts wise. For the face sculpt guys, which do you think? I'm going to go with Black Series still. I think she looks a little bit pre prettier as the Black Series. And a little bit more of a plain Jane. Uh, you know, on the, uh, with the Elite, which is strange. trying to compare these guys, I'm trying to come up with some good points for the Elite Series version, but I am preferring the Black Series so far of her. I don't know why. She has come with some extra pieces though, so let me just slot her on a base. Let's make sure she sits flush to that. There we go. So the pegs on the thing mean you, we can stand her flush to her base, which is nice. Um, we have a problem before with these figures not standing, so let's... Yep, yeah, we can actually just stand on it. Oh! Oh! Does she stand on her own? Let's say, miss flatten her out. Yeah, she does stand on her own when I put her on my desk. Probably I wobbled her. Uh, let's have a look at some of the other gun pieces. So she does come with a bigger blaster rifle. So let me slot that in her hand. Let me try that one. Boop, boop. Mm, come on. There is a bit of an issue with this model, in my opinion. So because of the way her hand is uh, positioned, this blaster rifle does not sit flush in her hand properly. And uh, when you put the arm under there, uh, you're actually bending the cock of the gun, or uh, the butt of the gun. So it's um, it's not sat flush, so it doesn't look right. When you look there, there's a lot of um, there's still a lot of gun left. But because the hinge is at an angle here on the arm, it makes it awkward to even slot that in her arm in the first place. And her hand doesn't have, it's stuck in like an inward position. So she's made to be carrying that pistol and not using this as often. Which in my opinion, I would be using the bigger blaster rifle and holstering the pistol to cover the holster. She does also come with a, I think it's like a baton or a something um, here. It doesn't say what it is. But her other hand can't even hold it, as again it's a static hand that is flat. And there doesn't appear to be anywhere on the model to store this. Yeah, I can't see anywhere on the model where I'm meant to store this on like a, a belt loop or anything like that. There doesn't seem to be anything. So that, for display purposes, I mean, yeah, that, that's just a, another static piece really. Hmm, am I missing something guys? Can you let me know in the comments down below? <laughs> Which is your favourite guys? The Elite Series or the Black Series? Don't get me wrong, I don't want to be bashing this fig. Um, I'm not bashing it by any means. It's a great fig and it's going to look great on my uh, on my shelf here behind me. Um, I tend to use the Elite Series um, for, for like display pieces and my Black Series I use for my sort of like learning to do stop motion videos and sort of fun things I do with the, you know, the action figures. <clears throat> so um, let me know in the comments down below your thoughts guys, hit the subscribe button, it all goes towards supporting the show, and I'll speak with you again soon. May the force be with you guys, bye bye!